What's going on everybody? Welcome to another fly tying video. Today we're going to be tying a variation of the Gronomid. Lots of patterns out there. Um, this is just one that I tie. Not taking credit for it, just, just a little recipe that I came up with. But again, it's just a variant of the Gronomid. Gronomid, still water, um, primarily a still water insect. But uh, this fly works really great. It's very simple. Um, simple to tie in lots of different colors and um, yes yeah, so let's go ahead and get started in the vise we have a Tiemco this is a 2312 dry fly hook um, it's got a little bit of a longer shank <clears throat> I really like this hook for chronomid it's got a slight curve to it as you can see and um, it's also a little bit longer for that long slender body um, we've got a 2.8 millimeter um, black bead at the front so let's go ahead and get this one started. We've got some UTC 70 denier. This is in uh, just the olive color. So to start this guy off, just go ahead and put a few wraps up right behind the eye. And we're gonna put in the gills <clears throat> right now. So for the gills, I just like to use just some EP fi fibers in white. Just grab a a good size clump, not too big, but not too thin. So, <clears throat> go ahead and take a loose wrap on top. One more loose wrap, and now you can kind of adjust those so that they're on the top of the shank. And then take a few tighter wraps behind. <clears throat> and then come in with your scissors, cut off all that excess, and you can singe that down like so so now grab your bead bring it all the way up you can kind of push it into those fibers a little bit and then to get your thread over just go ahead and take a soft wrap over the top you can pinch it with your other finger to secure it and once he's secured go ahead and <clears throat> take some tight wraps behind it I like to shorten this up a little bit it's not going to be the final length but just so it stays out of the way is as we tie this fly. So this fly is primarily thread based. It's kinda why I said you can you can tie it in lots of different colors, sizes, you can switch up the, the ribbing. Um, but for our ribbing on this one, we're just gonna use some uh, silver UTC wire. This is in the brassy size. <clears throat> and the wire just kind of helps us build a little bit of a body since most of it's just going to be thread. Go ahead and take that wire all the way back to right about when the, the hook starts bending. And then go ahead and take your <clears throat> touching wraps all the way back up the shank. And at this point you can start building your taper. I like a slim body on these. The naturals in still waters typically have a, a more slender body than our, most of our uh, stream nymphs, stream dwelling nymphs. So once you feel good about the, uh, the width of that body, go ahead and bring your thread to about a few eye, eye lengths back from the bead. And now you can just start ribbing. So go ahead and make nice even wraps with your wire to segmentate the body. And then secure it. Go ahead and secure it with a few wraps in front, a few wraps behind it. Now you can just helicopter that wire off. So pretty quick, pretty simple. That's the, the back three quarters of the fly. So for <clears throat> kind of the thorax area of this fly, we're just gonna tie in some large tinsel wire, or sorry, large opal tinsel. Um, you can use medium if you want. I like the large, it's a little bit thicker. So to tie this in, it can be kind of tricky. It likes to slip around. I like to just do one loose wrap to make sure it positions on the top of the shank and then do one more to secure it and then you can go ahead and just pull it back and there'll be a little bit of an excess 
come in here with your scissors, snip that. <clears throat> so once you have that tied down and secured, now we're just going to dub that thorax with a little bit of a uh, black peacock. This is um, the lighting was bad on that. Sorry, it's this right here. It's hard to see, but anyway, dub about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of a noodle on your thread. Not too thick, but not too thin. Again, less is more with dubbing. So once you get that dubbing, go ahead and dub the thorax. Now you can pull that flash, that tinsel, back up to the top. And I like to do, try and keep that in the middle, there you go. So one somewhat tight wrap on the top, and then when you come through with your second wrap, that's when you're gonna bring the tension, pull down on it a little bit, then you're gonna pull that tinsel back and take some wraps in front of it. <clears throat> Then you can come in here and snip that off close to the close to your thread. And to finish this off, we're just gonna wet finish and then clean it up a little bit. So once you finish, to clean this fly up a little bit, I like to I like a pretty short size gill. I don't like it very big. I just like it very small but enough to be visible by the fish. <clears throat> and then to finish it, I just like to add a little bit of uh, resin. This is a uh, UV flow from Loon. I just like to put a dot right on the top where I put that flash. Kind of um, brightens it up a little bit when it's in the water and then it secures those those thread wraps <clears throat> where we went finished so then go ahead come in here and cure that resin give it a few seconds that should be good <clears throat> and there you go little Quran mid pattern again you can tie these in lots of different colors sizes um, <clears throat> but it's very productive it's very simple um, yes, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time.